Hi, my name is Lindsey Grant, and I am a college student who is suffering through anxiety and depression. Um, about, I'm gonna say, my junior year of high school is really when I started noticing that I had a lot of anxiety. And um, there were a lot of situations um, couple of things going on within my family um, and just stressors and stressors in general in high school and now going into college um, I also figured out that I was bisexual and that was really difficult to deal with to um, overcome like this mold that um, that I didn't fit in because um, I was even in the other side too because um, my well I, I would get questioned like how can you be both ways blah 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 so it's really hard to under like it was really hard for me to go through that go through those go through facing what it means. Another situation occurred where my parents got to, um, separated my freshman year, spring semester, and then later they um, got divorced uh, my junior year, right? My junior year. And it was really challenging, especially dealing with having this anxiety about life and trying to cope with that and then working at the same time I have like a, 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 a huge amount of bills as well as doing school full time I don't it's like I didn't know how to really balance it. Lindsay has had a lot of anxiety within the past ever since I've known her and she recently been, has been going to therapy since of last year I'm taking research methods too, and everyone has to do a survey or a study. And my survey is about anxiety in college students. Lindsay has inspired me to do that because I've seen how much anxiety she has, and such as my roommate too. So like seeing two people who have really bad anxiety has just inspired me to do this and like spread awareness. I want to thank uh, my girlfriend, Victoria Messenger. Um, she has been my biggest pusher. Um, she's helped me go through a lot. Lindsay had a lot of anxiety around a lot of things. Um, some family kind of difficulties and I would say probably a few not as prominent, but some depression stuff that really affects her overall well-being, whether it's in school or work or everyday life or even guard practice sometimes can get the better of her. She, she's the, probably the, not class clown, but the guard clown. <laughs> but overall, like, a positive, attitude and works really really hard and even if you know Lindsay gets really overwhelmed or um, frustrated I mean obviously you can see that on anybody's face but it's not to the point where it's debilitating in the least bit there I mean there have been times here and there but it's very minor I just try to be there as much as I can for her and to always talk to her and ask her how her day is going. And at night, always talk about our day. If she continues to keep working on this stuff and, you know, staying open and honest and using coping skills and, you know, grounding techniques and all that kind of stuff that you learn in, in sessions and stuff, I really do think that it'll probably be super beneficial for her overall life and her future. And pro I wouldn't see you know, a struggle at all trying to 
navigate through the world in any other any other way than being normal, you know. I want to also thank Laura Laura Marie Rahusen. She has um, seen what I've gone through knowing her for the past almost two years now. As part of our course, we ask a research question to develop a study and to investigate it. We ask other students like you to participate in our studies so that we can answer our question. Thanks for coming to my study today. During today's session, you will be filling out a survey. Whenever you have a question, please put up your hand and I will address it as best as I can. First, people usually get anxiety. It could be from your genes or just how much stress they put on themselves. Name is Lady Gaga! Tonight I want you to forget all of your insecurities. I want you to reject anyone or anything that's ever made you feel like you don't belong or don't fit in or made you feel like you're not good enough or pretty enough or thin enough or can't sing well enough, or dance well enough, or write a song well enough, or like you'll never win a Grammy, or you'll never sell out Madison Square Garden! You just remember that you're a goddamn superstar, and you were born this way! Never give up. We were born to survive.